Hey everyone, uh, this is me from the City of Mist team. Uh, I'm here to talk to you a little bit about core moves. Uh, if you haven't heard of our game, then you should definitely check out some of Amit's videos about the game and also check out our free starter set. It's free. It's in the name and it's awesome. Uh, the art is amazing. The game ex is extraordinary. Uh, so I would definitely check it out. And I'm kind of biased, but you should also check it out. And I'm telling you that you will enjoy it. Anyway, let's get to uh, the topic at hand. Uh, we're talking about basic moves. If you know the Apocalypse engine in games like Apocalypse World or... Uh, Monster Hearts, uh, any apocalypse-powered game, uh, you know there's moves that everyone uh, could take, and there's also um, character moves that each specific character has that they can they can take. Um, now, we don't have in our game character moves um, because we feel that the thing that really makes the character special is their themes. Uh, and we'll talk about that uh, in another video. Um, but everyone has all the same moves. Everyone can basically use everything. And the way you customize a move is using your tags uh, that I mean, uh, also talked about a little bit. And we'll, we'll dive into that as well. So um, without further ado, let's uh, speak about some moves. So our first move is investigate. Uh, investigate uh, says, when you use your abilities to seek answers to burning questions, roll plus power. Now roll plus power means rolls, roll how many tags you've managed to narratively uh, justify. That means that if I'm, uh, let's say, investigating some person, and I'm playing a character that has tags like uh, hacker and uh, technology savvy and stuff like that. I can use my laptop and I can use my hacking skills to uh, break into their, let's say, um, social media and uh, find something in that regard. Or if I have a tag like social media savvy, maybe I'm not a hacker, but I'm good at like finding stuff out about people from their Facebooks and Twitters and Instas and everything like that, kind of like a stalker, but not specifically like a stalker, then I, I, I'll be able to use that tag. And then the, the, the MC could use what, you know, the tags that I'd use in order to, to t tell the story and tell me like what I find specifically. Um, so I roll plus power and then it says on a hit, Hit means uh, at least seven. Uh, if you know the uh, Apocalypse World engine, you know that a seven to nine is a partial success, which means a partial hit. And uh, ten and up means a uh, great success, like complete success, amazing success. Uh, six and down is a failure. So on a hit means at least a seven. You uncover as many clues as your power. Spend your clues one-to-one -to, -one to ask an, the MC a question about the subject of your investigation or ask another player a relevant question about their character. They must give you either a straight answer or a solid lead. All right? Uh, which means that if you're researching a, a player character, you can find out stuff about them. Or maybe while you were researching... Um, let's say, like a lead or a scene of a crime, you notice something weird going on with one of your co-workers and you decide to ask them about it. Um, so that could be used like very, very sparingly, um, but could still really, really depend on your tags because each tag you spend is, as I said, power, and then that's the amount of questions that you're uh you're gonna ask now it says on a seven to nine choose one uh, because as i said it's a partial success then you have to choose like a disadvantage so disadvantages your investigate investigation exposes you to danger 
the clues you get are fuzzy, incomplete, or part true, part false. You get like half truths and stuff like that. Maybe you're, you know, talking like shaking down someone to get the information from them and they're trying to cover their own ass so they don't tell you the whole truth and they might like send you to a right place, but it might be a trap, stuff like that. Or whoever or whatever you're asking the questions can ask you one question as well. You answer on the same terms, uh, which means that the MC can also ask you a question and then use that not for your favor a little later. There's uh, convince. Uh, it's pretty simple. You have to convince someone. It says when you use your ability to talk, threaten, or seduce, seduce someone into doing something, roll plus power on a hit. They either they choose either to take a relevant status of your choice with tier equals power. As I said, power equals how many narrative tags you use. So the more you use, the better, but you have to justify them, as always. So um, on a 7 to 9, uh, they give in a little, uh, but protect their own agenda. On a 10, they rethink their own agenda, and they update it to include yours in theirs, all right, uh, at least for the time being, so basically, um, you get more from a 10, as always, pretty straightforward, if you shake someone down uh, and try to convince them, instead of using investigate, which you could totally do, I think, either or, because let's say if you're shaking someone down literally, and you're threatening them, it's a little different than, you know, asking them questions and trying to, like, deduce from their answers, um, so if you are using convince, um, then you can definitely get them to do whatever you want with the right incentives, of course. Face danger. When you use your abilities to avoid an incoming hit, endure harm, resist a malign, malign well, how do you say that? Malign influence, or hold it together. Uh, the MC will name a sta status with its tag and tier, roll plus power. Um, so this means that in order, you always have a chance when something really bad is going to happen, you always have a chance of uh, defending yourself. So uh, if I'm getting shot, getting attacked, maybe there's a sneak attack and, you know, I find out in the last two seconds... I could maybe do something to, to try to prevent that or to, you know, soften the blow. Because it says on a 7 uh, to 9, um, you you take uh, a status, but with minus 1 tier. And on a 10 plus, you fend off the entire effect that you were about to get. So you could have taken a stat like stab 3 or, you know, disoriented 5 or not 5 disoriented something and you could either fend it off or get less if you succeed um so that's face danger now hit him with all you've got hit him with all you've got is a like your basic fighting move right it's 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 what you use to attack um when you have a clear shot so it says uh when you have a clear shot and use your abilities to hit someone or some thing uh, with all you've got, roll plus power. On a hit, you hit. Inflicting a status upon your target with tier plus power, we, we know what that means, and a tag relevant to the abilities you've used. It's, I'm, I'm using my firepower. I'm not going to free someone. I'm going to burn them. They'll, they'll get burned, or maybe uh, I'm, I'm uh, using my uh, special you know, jubilee sparkle power, and I disorient them. If that does jubilee's power do does do anything? I don't. Never mind. Anyway, um, so um, that's what it does. Uh, now, uh, when you get a ten, you get to choose uh two things. If you get a seven to nine, you get to choose one thing from this list that um, like amplifies it or maybe protects yourself protect yourself from from the other attacks so what you can choose is you take cover or secure a superior position 
so that they can't hit you back. That's important to, to pick because when you attack, you get, you make yourself open to an attack. So if you don't choose uh, this this particular option, then you are screwed, my friend. You could, It opens up for the MC uh, an ability to attack you. Uh, or uh, you get them good, or you get many of them, which means that you either add a tier uh, to the one person, or you get a few people hit with the same tier, right? So I can do like an area of effect attack instead of just hitting one person. All those lackeys, there's also a lot of lackeys all the time. There's no, okay, or there's no collateral damage or there's loads of collateral damage, you know, you choose, uh, you, or you hold the target's attention, if possible, if you need to, like, you know, keep someone's eyes on you while someone else is doing something, then you're able to do it, if, if it's possible, uh, so that's what you can choose, and, you know, 10 plus is better, because you can choose 2, um, and 7 to 9 is less good. Um, I haven't mentioned this, but every time you fail, then the MC gets to do a move on you, and it's not fun. Well, it, it is fun, but it's prob probably going to be a terrible thing that's going to happen to your character. But don't worry, we'll get to that. Um, so, those are uh, the four starting moves, and we'll be back with the rest of the moves. We'll see you.